Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? That's why you're tuning in. <laughs> Just a quick video today. It's not going to be a long one. Dave Caldwell, a.k.a. Penfold, a.k.a. the monitor wizard from Rotherham, he's come out and... Uh, He's a uh, Gichidora 7-5 card, then he's had a lot of flack, and oh, I need to watch it when I get home, and he's now come out for a statement out saying he's watched it, and he, he's given it to Usek 8-4, and he's blaming where he was sat. So basically, is Dave Caldwell now incompetent? Because he's saying that, oh, I've got it all the way around. I mean, it's a big swing, that, isn't it? Well, it's two. It's a six-round swing. So how can he be on TV again as a pundit? I'll give him credit. He's come out and he said what he said. But how can he be a pundit? Now, after doing that, stand by your, what you said. Stand by. It's like me when I said, I'm going to go probably with Tyson Fury, draw him a wilder at first fight. Yeah, I could see... Fury winning it by a round. Couldn't see Wilder winning it by a round, but I could see a draw. He's fighting at home. He dropped him twice. It's a WBC belt. I could see a draw with that, and I stood by it. I could see a Fury win, but he didn't get the win, did it, with a draw. Point I'm trying to make is Colwell's backdrafting. Look, this is where Matchroom and Sky shoot themselves in the foot. They have Tony Bellew, who's been mates with Derek, 17 years from amateur days. And you've got Caldwell, who, who's trained Derek, and he still wants to work with Derek down the line. He's not going to burn his bridges. They're going to be ringside. They're going to give their opinion. One's his, one's his best mate, and the other one's trained him and would like to train him again. Because it brings in revenue for him, doesn't it? So these people shouldn't be in a position where they can be biased. You see where I'm coming from? They shouldn't be put in that position, but they, 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 they've been put in that position. They've been put in that position because Sky want them there because they're company men, aren't they? They didn't have Frotch on ringside, did they? they didn't have front chart commentary, didn't they? Well, the anime studio with Johnny, with Johnny Massive Willie Nelson and uh, Anna Wallow. So they had front in studio and he was the only one who talked sense, wasn't it? He? he came out and said, look, Derek Chisora's, you know, he, he's passed his best, he's had 10 losses. Nobody else has been saying he's passed his best and he's had 10 losses. Crossover from Carl Frotch saying that to David A., Saying, well, he's 36, he's going on 26, stronger, faster than a quick, than a speeding, than a speeding, than a speeding bullet. Two seconds. Hello, that's why I'm here. Hey. Yeah, you'll have to call me back in a bit, mate. All right. You're on a kitchen. <laughs> Do I want a kitchen? If I want a kitchen, we go to Charmwood Kitchens at uh, Marnus. We'll see Marnus, don't we? Charmwood Kitchens, big shout out for Marnus. Uh, so, point I want to make is we've got David A. He's stronger, uh, bench pressing more, deadlifting, uh, curling, squatting, stronger. He's faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. He's eating kangaroo meat. He's doing things he's never done before. He's 37 nearly. And then we've got Frotch saying, well, he's over here, he's 10 losses. Who do you believe? Do we believe Carl the Cobra Frotch? Or, we believe, or do we believe David Hay, cost cutter David Hay, a promoter, a, a promoter and a, a, a manager? Let me ring you back, Kev. I'm just filming. So we just turn this off because I'm just going to do my head in. I'm just going to do my head in. Uh, so who, who, who do we believe? Who do we believe now? 
So don't, Sky shouldn't put, Ed Robinson, I know you're watching, you shouldn't be putting Bellew and Dave Colwell as ringside men. You should go and get two other people who are a bit more neutral. It's like Sky when they were having Paul Smith commentate on his brother's fight. It's craziness. It's craziness. Oh, I need to play you something here from this kid from Liverpool. So I'll have to turn the old uh, house brick on. But I, I, I just don't know. We're, we're going around in circles. I mean, fair enough. Colwell shouldn't be getting sticky. He's not a judge. He's giving opinion. But his opinion that he gives shows the bias is out of control. These people have got, have got the noses in the trough. They've got the noses in the trough. Colwell, I know you're watching. They've got their noses well and truly in the trough. Now, Colwell's come out from a 7-5 card to an 8-4. So is he watching and doing his job ringside? He's there to give expert analysis. How can they give expert analysis when in a 12-round fight, 24 hours later, you've got a six-round swing? Jesus! You're annoying me! Sending me mad! Let me find this here. It's just funny there. Just turn this off now, otherwise I'll be pestered. So basically, I asked permission as well for that kid to put that on. Uh, it's called Paul from Liverpool. He lives near Tony Bellio, actually. So one, one of your own Bellio, one of your own people there. Is Tony Bellio now going to come out and say, well, well, it, my 7-5 scorecard, uh, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. is he going to come out and do that, Tony Bellio? No, 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 he ain't going to do that, is he? No, 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 he's not going to do that. Bell, you would have had him there this week, Davy Day. You've had him there just to hype it up, haven't they? Because they've got followers on social media, blah, blah, blah. Derek even hyped it up, having a go at pretending, well, pretending to have a go at Coogan. I mean, if somebody did that to me on my channel, ruined me on my channel, you know what I'd do? I won't put it out. You won't put it out, would you? So you'd have to retain a bit of control, don't you? So the fact that Coogan allowed it to go out means Del Boy's either mugged him off or Coogan were in on it and he were like, oh God, you're not going to have a go at me. I'm going to look a right mag. Del Boy mugged him off or they were all in on it together. Either way, it's incompetence or corruption, isn't it? It's like the old Terry O'Connor carry on, isn't it? Isn't that right, Big Terry? So, what do I think of the scorecards? I think the judges got it right. But the bias from the Sky people was out of control yet again. And it just goes to show you that these people cannot be trusted to give expert analysis to the fans and the viewers at home when they're giving expert analysis about the friends. They can't be trusted. They can't be trusted, can they? It's a mess. It's a mess. They should have had. They should have had Paul Smith on, Jamie Moore, people like that. Jamie Moore drove down there and he had to drive all the way back when Dave Allen knocked two fights back. But that went down like a lead balloon. I heard it didn't go down well at Sky. Dave could be out in cold now. Lucas Brown's now on Dylan White card. Oh my God. Only because he's cheap. And Dylan didn't want to pay. But the moral of the story is this. These people 
are monitor lizards and they can't be trusted. Dave Caldwell, you are a monitor lizard. If you're not, come on, Porky's Corner via Zoom and let's have a chat. Come on, Porky's Corner, Caldwell, and let's have, let's have a chat. You know you're a monitor lizard. You can't even speak the truth. You've come out now backtracking because of public opinion. You were backtracking within an hour. You went with a narrative that bell you in your ear all. Well, we've got a back Derry cup. Speak the truth. Brock spoke the truth, didn't he? He said, look, Bell Boy's had 10 losses. He's passed his best. What are you going to say? He's got to do it be a bit of class. When they asked him about some other fight with Selby Campos, he said, well, I'm not getting drawn in on scorecards. The right man won. And that's all you've got to say. That's all Colwell had to say. Well, look, he didn't have to say, oh, it could have gone either way, and I thought I had it a draw. Eddie and Coogan, <laughs> they went for a draw, didn't they? Splinters in their arseholes. They couldn't lie straight in bed this lot. So it is what it is. It is utter. That's right. Isn't that right, Dave Cole? Well, you talk. <laughs> well, that's about it, really. I'm going to uh, go downstairs now and do a Tom Platt's leg workout. And then I think I'm going to finally put cash machine. I've been going for five days. They all seem to be shut around here. Or, or ripped out at wall. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Big shout out to Jason Barker and Clinton Woods. Hope you well, chaps. And of course, Innovation Alloys.